A tensor is specified fully if you know the images of the basis vectors. But how does this work in practice if you want to find the image of some general vector? That's what you will learn in this video, and as you will see, it works the same as in linear algebra. So, what's the situation? We have a tensor from R3 to R3. We have some general vector A. We can expand it in the standard basis E1, E2, E3. And uh, we have some B, and we say uh, T of A, the image of B, is B. And then we want to determine the components Bj of B. Uh, if we expand B equals Bj, Ej, if we expand B in the standard basis. How do we find those? bj's if you have the t and if you have the a. Now we use the following trick. We know b is the image of a. Then we can expand a in the standard basis. Then these ai's are just scalars and we know the t is linear so we can take the scalars in front. That's what we do over here. Uh, that's the first part. Then we know that we can expand B as Bj, Ej. So then we know uh, that if we take the inner product of B with the kth unit factor, we put this uh, B, uh, Bj, Ej in there, we get Bj times Ej inner product Ek. And as usual, we choose our orthonormal basis. So Ej inner product Ek equals delta Jk and the sum over j picks out the bk. So what we have found is that bk equals b in a product ek. And now uh, we plug in what we know about b. b equals ai t ei. So we plug that in over there for b. So uh, bk equals and the ai T E I in a product E K. Well, it looks like a big mess, but it's not so bad uh, because we know this T uh, E I in a product E K. We know that that was one of the uh, formulas you learned by heart. It's exactly T K K I. So the B K equals A I times T K I, and it's usually uh, written the other way around. You can interchange them because they're just numbers. So your B K equals T. Ki times Ai. And if you write this in matrix form, that's something really nice, because what it says here is the product of the matrix of T times the vector A. So your vector B is the same as the matrix product of the matrix of T times the vector A, just as it was in linear algebra. So let's do a small example. Determine the components B equals T of A in a specific case where the T is given over here uh, and uh, A is some vector given over here. So how does it work? So first of all, you determine the matrix of T. Well, that's straightforward. The T of E1 in the first column, 2 minus 6 plus 4. T of E2 in the second column, 3, 4 minus 1. And T of E3 in the third column, minus 2, 1, 2. And then uh, our A, uh, so over here, 1, 2, 3. And the B is just a product of matrix E times the vector of uh, A over here. And you can uh, compute this using, for example, the row column rule. So you get 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2 minus 2 times 3 equals 2. Uh, minus 6 plus 8 plus 3 equals 5. And the 4 times 1 minus 1 times 2 is 2 times 3. So 4 minus 2 equals 2 plus 6 equals 8. So there you go. So finding the image uh, of some general vector B uh, works really similar as in linear algebra. So find the standard matrix of uh, T, find the uh, vector corresponding to A, and just compute matrix and vector, and there you are. 